here at the 98th ARBA convention with Mike Avising. Um, he's a p past ARBA president and an icon within the hobby. Uh, but what I was curious about, as or what I was curious about asking was, um, you've shown rabbits a really long time. Go ahead, if you need to come through. Um, you've shown rabbits a really long time. How do you keep rabbits in top-notch show condition uh, at a like to get them to a show and be a top notch, and then how do you keep them here and top notch? Oh uh, well, usually you, you got to start from the time they're born, really. And uh, I gradually increase feed as they get older. Uh, I need to get the rabbits out, handle them frequently, and you know the uh, I think some a lot of it's genetics also. You know, if your rabbits don't have the genetics to finish or get good flesh condition on them, they're never going to get there. You can do whatever you want to from a feeding standpoint or from a handling standpoint, but so you got to have that breeding behind them. And, uh, and again, I don't think there's any magic formulas. Lots of people that win do lots of different things. And uh, you know, I, I use a little bit of uh, black oil sunflower seeds. Uh, most of my rabbits get oats along with their pellets. And then uh, I just kind of try and handle them, work with them, get them out, work their coats, try to get them in condition. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, we've, we've all had a lot of comment cards that said NP on them over the years. So. <laughs> You've also had your fair share of, of big winners though as well. So, yeah. I, but so so when you bring them to a sh when you bring them to like convention though too, like how do you um, keep them in condition while they're here at the show? Is it is it just the dust genetics or do you do anything special? I don't do anything special. I think it's genetics. I think it's care while they're here. You know, again, I don't. Uh, you know, I, I give them the same feed here they get at home, um, and actually probably a little less feed because they think they get stressed and they don't eat quite as much. And you know, I I, I did well in the uh, fur class yesterday with the mini satins and that rabbit looked way better that yesterday when it showed than it did when it left home three days ago and I got a couple that looked way worse than they did when they left home three days ago so it's uh, I think some of them when they stress they prime out they look really good some of them go the other way and I think most people have been doing this a long time will tell you that's kind of the way it works there's a little bit of luck involved in it a little bit of you know, but I think that's why the genetics of it if you know if you're Rabbits do well here, they hold up here, they hold up while you're traveling. If you use those rabbits for breeding, I think that kind of breeds that into your herd. And then you have a, you know, you're more consistent. I don't think you can ever fix everything, but I think it makes it more consistent. Yeah, which that totally makes sense. The ones that are better in that environment, when you select for that over time, then you just continuously right. get better and better yeah. with that trait. Yeah, and I think the, uh, also you need to breed for these things. so. You know, I try to breed rabbits in the spring so that they're four to eight months old for conventions. You know, that gives you your juniors, that gives you your seniors. And I don't try to show rabbits in the summer at fairs because they, I just don't have anything, you know, that's ready to go at that time of the year. I also show very little in the winter when it's cold because my rabbits are bred to be at show condition for this show in the fall and for the national shows in the spring. So, you know, because if you're looking at that four to, you know, four to eight month time frame for age, that's when they're going to look good. So you try to back calculate your calendar. And that's why I tell 4 H kids if you're trying to show at your fair in July, go back to six, seven months to the first of the year and start trying to breed them. So you have them in that. And that, of course, that depends on breeds too. If you've got Holland Lops, you've got Netherland Dwarfs or something where they look better when they're three or four years old sometimes, that's a little different game. Yeah, because you got to understand the breed that you're showing. But that, but yeah, yeah what, what you're saying with most breeds that it is that four to, to, or four to seven, four to eight months. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, it's just kind of like I tell people, you know, I'm not like what I was when I was 16 either. And I think the, uh, you know, the rabbit, you're probably not going to bring a three-year-old mini satin buck to the convention and have him do any good. I mean, it's just, you know, you got, you got to breed them for that prime age, um, you know, and then after that, you put them in your breeding program and move on and raise the next generation. And it's, it's, the people that are successful at this year after year are continually breeding, improving, you know, and keep that next generation coming. And you, you know, sometimes you make a good cross that works, and you have a really good generation. And sometimes that buck that just dominated the convention doesn't throw you anything. So it's you know, it's a uh, there's a little bit of luck involved in it too, in practice. Very good. That makes sense. Hey, I, I appreciate your time. Thank you for yeah. Thank you for the thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yep.